So if you have cellulite, you can actually use a gua sha massage for the body to help you out. So a lot of us might be going, okay, I think I've got cellulite. I'm pretty sure I have cellulite. Usually when you're seeing it and you're noticing that you have it is because you have almost like this, it's like a puckering or like an orange peel effect and it's generally located in the lower part of our body. So usually in our trunk of the body or primarily in our upper legs, but we can also see this appearance maybe on our arms a little bit and sometimes in the lower leg as well and maybe in the lower back. So the cellulite appearance can be moved around the body in different areas, but primarily most of us we'll see our cellulite in the upper leg area and in the thighs. So that is one location and what it should look like. And the benefit of using gua sha in particular is that the friction movement that is used will help also move and stimulate and help to break apart what we call the fascia. So the fascia is underneath and that's kind of what's causing that puckering effect and can feel quite tight. So I must tell you, it can be a little bit sensitive when you first start to do these types of treatments, just because that fascia area can feel a bit tight and it can cause a little bit of minor discomfort. So your pressure will be uh, something you'll need to monitor and kind of balance as you go through your treatments. And the more you do it, the more accustomed your body will be and the easier it will become and it'll be less tender. So let's speak a little bit about cellulite itself so that you have a better understanding of why the gua sha's technique or the movements is doing you some good. And can you actually really get rid of cellulite? Verdict is still out on that one because it is reoccurring and it can happen because it has to do with your fat and um, a um, connective tissue layer that lays underneath your skin. So underneath your skin, you have some connective tissue and then you have some fat layer. And in there, you have the connective tissue. Uh, I'll kind of make it, make it a little bit easier for you because quite often it's like, why do women tend to see the appearance of cellulite? more than men or do men even get cellulite and a lot of it has to do with the connective tissue itself so i like to liken it for women in particular that that connective tissue runs like a picket fence so the connective tissue runs like parallel like a little fence this way and that uh, fat tissue underneath when it becomes a little excessive or it moves around it's kind of like bubbles up in between that connective tissue so when there's a little bit more it will kind of bubble up so when you do that pushing the skin together a little bit, you get that puckering or that orange peel effect, and that's exactly what's happening. Now for men, it's different. The uh, connective tissue runs more like a chain link fence, so it sits a little bit more like this. So meaning those little deposits, it's a little bit differently across, so you don't get that same effect, but it doesn't mean that the appearance of that cellulite isn't going to still happen. It just depends on our genetics and our environment and what we're doing for our overall health. So can this be good for everybody? Absolutely. You can definitely incorporate these types of treatments in or the gua sha technique for the body, regardless, if anything, amazing for helping getting that circulation moving. We have that amazing lymphatic system, right? We get all overall well health for the body. So with that said, how do you get started? When's the best time to do it? Really, your pro it, morning, night, you can decide. Some people love to do these types of treatments before bed. Some people do it after they take a nice bath, when they've you know, maybe um, hydrated the skin with some beautiful bath oils and salts or right out of the shower because they can do some prep work there. So I do encourage you to take some time to prepare your skin so it's a little bit easier and you're getting a little bit more out of the gua sha massage for the body. One, uh, scrub the body down. You know, get yourself into the shower, do yourself a really good scrub, exfoliate all the dead skin cells off of our body. And I, I'm just a huge fan of our stone crop revitalizing a body scrub. It's a sugar salt combo. It's quite refined. It really gives a nice polishing effect. And uh, the scent profile is nice and fresh, a little bit more invigorating. So I really enjoy doing something like this in the morning and then you're right in the shower, you just rinse it all off, no problem. And then when you step out, you're gonna be getting ready to do the gua sha massage itself. And then you will go into um, your top 
topical application of a product. You want to find something that's going to give you some glide and some benefit is very helpful. So we have a body oil and a couple of body lotions to do that. We have our stone crop uh, body oil. Make a nice duo, right? Nice companion with the sugar scrub. You only need about, you know, I'd say maybe about half a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon for the whole area. Just massage it through, but leave a little bit so that you can slip, uh, so your gua sha tool can actually fluidly move along the skin and tissue. Uh, some, Times, if you don't feel like having the oil, you can go right into a body lotion and you can get very purposeful with your body lotions, especially if you're doing target areas like your cellulite areas. We have the Stone Crop Contour uh, Body Cream. Really, you can see a theme here, <laughs> the Stone Crop theme. Uh, great family to work with because they have um, beautiful green, fresh and green scent profiles. Everybody tends to really enjoy it. Plus your bathroom smells amazing after using it. But the body cream, as you see, it's got the cheat word, contouring. So that tells you right there that's going to be very effective when you want to hit those target areas. And then the last one here, you may have heard me talk about it before or you've seen it from us before, is the Minoy Age Corrective Night Body Cream. It's okay if you use it in the daytime, but again, for those of you who like to do your treatments more in the evening, this has got a beautiful floral scent. It's like going on vacation. Uh, beautiful here, great slip, lots of good glide. So you have these options. So before I go into the demo, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can catch up with more of our videos. Okay, so I'm just gonna move directions a little bit here and I'm gonna show you the tool and I'm gonna show you some of the technique you can use. And really, it is so simple it's gonna blow your mind so the tool we have two that i wanted to bring to your attention today we have this guy here so it almost looks like a giant spatula it's almost like an ice cake with this guy but he's stainless steel he's pretty heavy duty hold on tight to it you don't want to drop this one and then we have a stone one and you see it's a bit, bit of a different shape i think you can see a little bit more here you can see it has like different ridges on it it's got more of a curvature in there so for me i like to use the wider or the longer one for full fluid movements in a very long motion and get more surface coverage here and then i'll spend a little more time with the smaller one maybe on those target places like above the knee so we can maybe not think about cellulite but maybe look at separating some of the muscles giving you more of a massage but also trying to get that um, better uh, look, <laughs> smoothness around our knee area as well. And it might be a little bit easier for the calf if you want to work in there too. It's a little bit smaller and a little bit more um, targeted. I have my fabulous tuts on here for you today. <laughs> so uh, most of us in the washroom just find a good place to support your leg uh, on the tub or um, maybe you have a chair in, in your washroom that's a really good place to go but you want to be nice and sturdy and keeping yourself so you've got some balance because you are going to be moving around and target area of course and as you can see this one's great because I literally can take two hands and I can just go along this way. So I'm working with full movement Watch your pressure. The harder you press, the more tender it's going to be. So start slow and then as your tolerance builds, you can just do a little bit of a deeper pressure so then you get more movement. And again, if a little bit of pinkness comes up, no problem. It's just bringing up a little blood flow. No problem at all. So from across the top, so this, remember I told you how easy this is? This is literally all you have to do. So <laughs> you go here and then here and then I turn my tool so I have more traction and then I can come on all those little harder areas to get from beneath the knee. And then when you go to work in the inner leg, this area definitely tends to be more tender. So if you're a little more firm on this side, you may want to be a little more gentle on the inner side. And again, nice. And you can go, I, there's a couple of rules here if you want to follow them. 45 or dead on works just fine. I find when I come into the inner leg, I like to go more of an angle. It gives me a little bit more traction and it keeps my um, pressure a little bit softer. So that's a great little tip. And again, moving here, um, feel free to work on the thaw, um, pardon me, the calf area as well. But as I mentioned, I really like to use the more, um, the gua sha that has a little bit more, um, ribs in it so I can get a little bit more. So I can pull this way and then across is a great way. And remember I promised around the knee. So this is where you can really get a little bit deeper around your knee area. You can work this way as well. How long do you need to spend here? Maybe three to five minutes if you like. Think about five strokes per area or again, just go one stroke around, 
the circumference of the leg, and then keep doing so for five movements, or as long as you feel you can tolerate it, or as long as you like. Now, earlier I mentioned that you can prepare the skin with exfoliation and then a cream, but if you want, you can exfoliate, rinse, of course, then you can apply the, maybe the body oil to do the gua sha, remove any of that excess oil, and then go ahead and put on those leave-on body creams that I mentioned, one for the contouring, and then really one for great for overnight. So I hope that these are going to be easy things for you to use. Remember, you got two different types of gua sha's that you can pick for the body. Just select the one you like. I like to use both. To learn more about how you can manage your cellulite or problem areas for the body, check out our fabulous video on dry brushing.